In this video, PickWire and Cable will offer step-by-step -step instructions on how to terminate a TNC connector onto a 50 ohm coaxial cable. First, if provided, slide the ATUM heat shrink onto the cable. Next, install the crimp ferrule over the cable jacket with the small end first, if applicable. Score the jacket at cut A and cut B using the strip dimensions on screen without cutting into the cable shields. Then, complete cut A through the shields and dielectric down to the center conductor as you can see on screen. Next, you will remove the jacket, shields, and dielectric. Clean the face of the exposed dielectric from any debris or stray braids. Next, complete cut B through the jacket. Then, slit lengthwise and remove the jacket. Continue by installing the center connector onto the cable center conductor until the end of the contact is flush with the dielectric. Solder or crimp the center contact to the center conductor. Refer to the table on screen for the correct crimp die set. The inspection hole should show the center conductor and, if applicable, the solder. The next step is to flare out the wire braids to approximately 45 degrees. Then you will slip the foil lengthwise in three or four places. Flare these out to expose the strip braid. With an X-Acto knife, carefully flare the strip braid out away from the dielectric all the way to the bottom. The dielectric must be exposed for full length of the strip dimension, near cut C. If needed, clean the dielectric and center contact. Dry air may be used very carefully. Next, install the connector body over the dielectric and under the shields, as shown on screen, until the center contact captivation groove is engaged. Avoid disturbing or deforming the dielectric. For 90 degree connectors, use caution and avoid damage to the female center contact. Rotating the connector back and forth while installing the body can help assure that the center contact is centered in the connector. Then, push until the center contact captivation groove is engaged. Next, smooth all of the braids down over the rear of the connector body covering the knurl. Using cuticle scissors, trim off the braids at the shoulder as demonstrated on screen. The next process is to pull the crimp ferrule up onto the connector body. Secure the body while positioning the ferrule to avoid shifting the captivated center contact. Now you will verify the center contact position. Crimp the ferrule with the M22520501 crimp tool and crimp die set as specified in the table on screen. Ensure that each step or diameter of the ferrule fits into the corresponding cavity of the hex crimp dies to achieve a full crimp. The final step is to shrink the ATUM dual wall shrink onto the connector and the cable. For straight connectors, start behind the coupling nut or connector interface. For 90 degree connectors, start behind the cube body. This concludes our termination instructions. Thank you for watching. For additional termination videos, please reference our website at www.pickwire.com.